shall I say good morning, amen. Welcome to a brand new broadcast of Miracles at Midnight. My goodness, does the Lord have a beautiful and potent prophetic word for us on tonight. Let me go ahead and get right into it. My name is Dr. JoLynn Whitaker. You are here on purpose. This is a very uh, brief word, right? We don't belabor the point in this space. This is Miracles at Midnight. We take about 30 minutes to receive from the Lord. But I have found that some of the most impactful prophetic teachings, prophetic messages, amen, come forth in this space. And that is consistent with what the Lord spoke to me when he gave me the instruction to begin prophesying miracles at midnight. He said, listen, mi midnight is the time in between days. It is not quite yesterday. It is moving into tomorrow. And so the messages and the words that come forth in this very anointed on common peculiar time are very impactful, very important for our lives. I believe with my whole heart that the Holy Spirit is gathering people and ordering people's steps to be here on this platform to receive what thus saith the Lord at this particular time. So thanks for staying up with me, amen, to participate in the word, to receive the word, amen, or it might be, it might not be midnight where you are, amen, but let me know in the comments where you are watching from. We sure love to look back and examine where all God is leading people from, and he is just enlarging our territory. He's enlarging your territory as he is gathering people unto himself. And I prophesy that in this time, God is truly building an army of people. Amen. Followers of Jesus Christ, kingdom men, kingdom women, come on, people just like you who love the Lord Jesus Christ. And you are called to be a servant uh, of his kingdom. Amen. And so to that end, he's raising up people who are real warriors in the faith. You are prosperous. You are blessed. You are succeeding in the things of God. You are walking in the blessing of God. And this prophetic word tonight is going to be one of those powerfully anointed words that is just going to enhance where you are right now and set you up for the future. Let me begin by reading a powerful Bible verse to you out of the book of Philippians chapter one, verse six. Amen. The Lord here says, and I am certain that God who began the good work within you, uh-huh, hallelujah, will continue his work until it is finally finished on the day when Jesus Christ returns. So to you listening to me right now, there are things that are underway in your life that you may or may not even be aware that it is an ongoing process, that there are things that are unfolding in your life that are progressing in your life even now, yes, in this very moment. And the one who is causing the progression, the one who is causing you to move ahead and to expand and to progress is the Lord, because he is not only watching over his word to perform it, but he is bringing to completion or finishing things that he began in your life. Can I prophesy? I want to jump right into this. Amen. Praise the Lord. This is a homecoming season for you. I see many of you are getting ready to come full circle with something the Lord began in your life. I see many others here as well that you had wandered off your path or you had wandered away or possibly had fallen under demonic attack and you became waylaid, you became delayed, you became uh, disenfranchised, you became, you know, hope deferred set in, right? And so you lost time and some of you feel as though you lost your way. There are those here, and I see this in the spirit, that you have been uh, really fighting to uh, to regain yourself. That's, that's the only way I can say it, to come back to your right mind, to come back to yourself, you know, after heartache, after heartbreak, after loss, after a failure in your life. But the Lord said that you are right on time because this is a homecoming season for you. This is a full, full circle season for you where you will see in the name of Jesus that the Lord is getting ready to complete some things he began in your life. In other words, do not be 
dismayed and do not be distracted and do not be vexed by any time you think you lost or by any mistakes you are aware that you made. God has already blotted all that out. And now the focus is to accelerate you into this full circle experience. I believe that many of you are getting ready to see the dreams that God put in your heart begin to come to pass. Many of you are getting ready to have that. I, I'm aware. I just, I'm about to say for the third time now, amen, but that's important. I'm aware that many of you are about to have that full circle moment, right? Where something that began long ago, and it's been a process, but you're going to see the Lord bring that thing to completion. Amen. So with that said is our foundation. Let me get into the fullness of the prophetic word. In this season, God is going to be placing you where you need to be. Crucial for you to hear that it's where you need to be. Not necessarily, you know, where your flesh wants to be, but how many understand that there is a way that seems right to man? Come on, somebody. There is a way that seems right to women. And we may think we know who we got to be with or who we want to be with, who is for us, where is for us. But wave at me in the comments. How many of us here had to recover from making a decision we thought was correct. And then we were with the wrong person. We know that now we were pursuing the wrong position. We know that now. And so it, we can admit that, right? So that's a very a powerful thing. It's a humbling thing as well. And it's a revelatory thing because it only goes to confirm the fact that there is a place for you. God has a place for you, the place where you will thrive, the place where you will build. Come on, the place where he will build your life. Amen. The place where you will see your destiny come alive. I mean, really come alive. Amen. The place where God has for you. Amen. And in this season, I see the Lord. And, and, and let me, let, I want to get ahead of myself. And also, when you are in the place that God has for you, that is where you will build the right relationships. That is where you will see doors open up to you supernaturally. That is where you will begin to see your seed function differently. That is where you will begin to see even your confessions function, function differently. Amen. As you declare the word of God for the atmosphere that has been anointed and prepared by the Lord for you responds to the anointing on your life. Amen. And so in this full circle season, God is getting ready to place you where you need to be. Now I would be remiss if I didn't tell you this. Every time this happens, you need to get ready for some departures and some arrivals. Some people are going to need to be distanced from you. Amen. I'm not saying you need to cut them off, but some of you will certainly see that there will be a, uh, it'll happen organically. It will be a distance between you and certain people because God is getting ready to connect you strategically to the right people. Amen. He is getting ready to take you into a new room, into a new realm, into a new dimension of your destiny and what he has for your life. Amen. And so there must be some departures with those spaces available in your life. Now the Lord can release a uh, God sends into your life. And th these are the individuals who the Lord has ordained for you. So in this season, lift your hands. I want to prophesy. You're about to meet some new people. There may be some who, you know, they organically uh, drift away or walk away or disconnect. Let them go. Amen. They are not required uh, to be present in your future and they are not connected to what God is leading you into. Otherwise they wouldn't be, you know, floating away. Amen. But as you see that happen, be expectant. I said, expect for there to be new arrivals for I prophesy over you right now now in the name of G Jesus, that new connections are coming for your life. New strategic divine meetings are about to happen in your life. The Lord is going to connect you to the people you need to know. He's going to place you in proximity to the people you must be connected to. Amen. And it is all in relation to God bringing you full circle. Amen. God placing you where you are ordained to be. Amen. Because he's trying to get you to the next level. Praise the Lord. And bringing certain things full circle in your life where you will see the Lord begin to build your life and you will begin to build even legacy. 
To that end, I see a time of shifting. Amen. Doors may close, but that means another door is getting ready to open. Do not be shocked when a new invitation comes to you. Do not be shocked when the Lord downloads a new vision to you, right? You thought you wanted to live here. You thought you wanted to be there, but now you are so very clear that you are being called here, that you truly belong there. Amen. And so do not think it's strange when these strategic doors open for you by the mighty miraculous hand of the Lord, because there is going to be a time of shifting. And when God leads you into a new location, there's something there for you in the name of Jesus. Let me just qualify that. When God truly leads you into, into the location that he has for you, you've not gone because of your flesh. You've not gone because you want to, you know, you know you've not gone because it feels like the right thing to do, but no, the Lord really is saying, this is where you need to be, right? This is where I want you to live. This is where you are to work, etc., etc. Then he will confirm that to you. I prophesy over the next seven days, very specifically, the next seven days will have confirmations. Clarity will come to you in the name of Jesus. For the Lord says that he will be speaking to even some of you in a dream, in a vision of the night. Amen. But his spirit will confirm to your spirit and you will know that you are hearing from God. There will be no confusion for you will know says the Lord exactly where he is calling you to be so there's going to be a time of shifting which will lead you into a time of lifting I want to be very clear to you and I, I there's no other way to say it but this God is going to lift you amen so there is promotion in this there is elevation in this amen now some of you may be called back to a place you once were. You may be led back to a position uh, or a location you once were, but I want to make this very clear to whoever this applies to, and you'll know it's for you. Amen. If it is for you, when the Lord calls you back to a place, it's going to be for the purpose of elevation and promotion, right? And if you take a step up, then it's not going backward. If ultimately the Lord is leading you forward and higher, then you're not going backward. It's all, it only seems to your mind like, oh, I'm just going back to someplace I was. Wait, wait, wait. If ultimately you are elevated, if ultimately you move forward, if ultimately it's good for your future, for your destiny, if ultimately you are building legacy in that place, then God has promoted you. Amen. So don't let the devil confuse you by thinking that someplace you've already been is not new. No. When God changes your season, it'll be brand new in the name of Jesus. I feel like that was a confirmation for somebody. Amen. Amen. Now there's going to also come a gifting with this as well. For the Lord always equips you with what you need for your new season. So I prophesy that the Lord is about to put right in your hand exactly what you need. You will not have any lack, but you will have overflow. You will not have just enough, but you will have more than enough. You will not just only have more than enough, but I prophesy this night that you will have the exceedingly, come on, the abundantly, even above and beyond what you asked, thought, or imagined, because I prophesy, I see a clear Clear. Thank you, Jesus. I prophesy the Lord is getting ready to confirm to you that he is a generous God. He is a lavish God. God can do more for you just like that than you could line up for yourself with all your best efforts. And in this season, the, 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 the gifting and the embellishing and the release and the prosperity that is coming to the people of God will confirm to you that not only does God have his hand on your life, Life. Not only can you trust that this is the Lord moving in your life, but you can put all your faith in the Lord Jesus Christ, for he will never leave you. He will never forsake you. And he's not going to leave you to figure stuff out on your own. When it is God's will for you to be somewhere, then what you encounter and what you need becomes his bill. Don't ever forget that. But there's going to be a, a, a shifting. There is coming a lifting promotion, amen, and a gifting. God is going to equip you and prosper you with everything you need and then some glory to God. Now I do see the blessing of Jabez coming on many of you. Come on somebody. The blessing of Jabez where your honor, your integrity, your willingness to to disconnect from any dysfunction that may have been even in the bloodline, right, is going to put you in a position where the Lord honors your request for 
enlargement. The Bible says that Jabez was more honorable than his brother. Stay with me. The Bible says that Jabez was named that by his mother because she had brought him sorrow. So this is a family that, you know, th there's dysfunction in the family. There's dishonor in the family. If this guy Jabez is more honorable than his brothers, you know what that means? It means the brothers were dishonorable. Come on, somebody. And it means that his mother was more concerned with her own feelings and with what happened in her life than being the mother that her young boy needed her to be. Now, I'm not condemning that woman. I am not qualified to do so. But I do come in the name of the Lord as a prophet of the Lord. And I see in the spirit that there are many, I feel the anointing, my Lord, there are many people listening to me right now that you too have come out of a family where you had to fight to keep your mind and you had to fight to do what is right among people who don't even know how dysfunctional they are. You had to fight to uh, move out of your trauma and to not be traumatized by what your own mother did or did not do, by what your own father did or did not do, but you made up your mind, I'm not going to be like them, neither am I going to stay low in the pain, just rolling around about what happened and how it hurts. No, I choose to live another way. I choose to honor the Lord. And I'm telling you right now, the blessing of Jabez is about to hit many of you because you made up your mind to be more honorable than than your siblings and you made up your mind to live delivered and to live strong and to live blessed and to live in forgiveness and to live in favor amen and you release the trauma praise the Lord well get ready for in the name of Jesus thus saith the Lord he is getting ready to honor your request for enlargement there will be real estate transactions there's going to be doors of opportunity and it is going to literally enlarge your territory this is not symbolic i don't want anybody trying to like you know uh, uh, help me, Holy Ghost. I don't want anybody trying to um, decipher or, or make it fit their own. No, no, no. You, we don't get to. The Bible says what it says. The blessing of Jabez is when God enlarges your territory. So this is, uh, this is property. This is land. This is opportunity. This is real estate. Amen. And I release it over you right now in the name of Jesus. I told you God is going to put you where he wants you to be. And in that place, you will put down roots. Hallelujah. I curse every counterfeit opportunity that the devil sent into your life. I curse every counterfeit relationship that the devil sent into your life. It might be good people. It might be a good place, but is it your God place? Is it your God relation? Oh, honey, all that glitters is not gold. But in this season, I'll tell you this, and I seal it with the blood of Jesus, and I prophesy it under the authority of the name of Jesus Christ. God will surely lead you to where you need to be. And in that place, you will prosper I already told you this is a home coming season for you now here's where it's gonna get even even deeper than it already is home for you does not necessarily mean where you were born and raised when you are truly mature in the Lord you come to understand home for you is wherever God is home for you is wherever God calls you to and he will meet you in that place and he will begin to build your life enlarge your life prosper your life favor your life come on somebody and so the Lord will place you in the in the uh, literal location that he has for you and this too will be a full circle moment for many now I don't know uh, who this part is for but I'm going to say it like I heard it and I wrote it down just like this. The Lord said to tell you, he will place you where Satan cannot trace you. He will place you where the devil cannot trace you. This is for the ones here, but you have had a battle. You have had demonic uh, 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 battles. You have, you've literally gone toe to toe with demonic agendas and assassins against your life. There are some people here that you know, every time you're in a certain place or a certain town or a certain house, you battle the same sin. 
You battle the same unholy desires, right? There are certain things that are synonymous uh, now for you with that sin. So there is that group of people. And then there are the people that you have literally, you know, gone head to head with demons and you've had attacks on your life and all of that. But the Lord said to prophesy that he will place you where the devil cannot trace you for when it is your time to, I feel the Holy ghost. When it is your time to thrive, come on, the Lord will cause angels that have been assigned just to you. They're not from me. They are your angels and they will encamp about you. Amen. And God himself will hide you with his supernatural mighty feathers. Come on. And God himself will surround you with his favor as a shield and the devil will look for you and the demon will look for you, but they can't find you. What happened? God placed you where they couldn't trace you. Amen. Jeremiah 29 11, this is where the Lord is always trying to get you to. This is his prophetic promise to you about your life. And this is the season. I prophesy this over your life. This is the season. God gives you a life, a hope, and a future. He's not going to harm you. He wants to help you. He doesn't have any plans to hurt you. He wants to build your life and to prosper your life. Amen. So if you can trust him, hallelujah, if you can receive this, I'm telling you, you are about to see things happen so quick that it's going to feel like a whirlwind. Amen. But you're anointed for this acceleration. You're anointed for this full circle blessing. You are anointed to see the Lord complete things that he has already begun in your life. And it seemed in times past, like it was taking so long and you weren't where you wanted to be. And oh my goodness, when's it going to happen for me? And the Lord said, now is your time, but you've got to be in the right place. Come on. Praise the Lord. Somebody received that in the name of Jesus. Now I saw this and I wrote it down. The Lord will put a crown on your head and anoint you with oil. He will put a crown on your head and anoint you with oil. I call you a legacy builder, a legacy builder. There is something significant to the family that you alone can build. I call you a faith bringer. The Lord is going to use your faith and your words and your anointing and your mission and your destiny. Amen. And simply the favor of God on your life to, to minister faith to many other people. You are a legacy builder. You are a faith bringer. You're a word speaker. You're going to declare the word of God in this season and see the word of God make an impact, not just in your life, although in your life, amen, but also in the lives of others, amen, and also in your atmosphere, in your environment and the neighborhood and the, the atmosphere that God places you in. You're a word bringer. Come on, you're a word speaker. You're a prosperity carrier. The Lord is going to anoint you with, uh, with oil and that oil, amen, will attract wealth because the anointing always attracts wealth, amen. That's what Psalm 23, five and six says. It is a revelatory word where the Lord says, he says there, you anoint my head with oil and the next thing that happens is your cup overflows. That's right, sugar. The anointing attracts wealth. And as the Lord puts a crown on your head in this season for he He's bringing you full circle. Amen. And as the Lord anoints you with fresh oil, that oil will begin to attract prosperity. Do not be surprised when God gives you business ideas. Do not be surprised if God gives you a book to write. Do not be surprised if the Lord suddenly breathes on an existing business, an existing uh, job, an existing ministry. And all of a sudden you see that thing begin to overflow. And you'll remember this word. You say, yes, Lord, you are, you are a mighty God. You always tell the truth. God, it is happening for me. I am seeing my cup overflow. Hallelujah. Now the Lord said to tell you this glory to God. That battle only got bloody in your life because now is your time. The devil always turns up the heat right before your biggest breakthrough. I've seen in my own life, my most vicious battles came before my biggest breakthroughs to you. I would say tonight or this morning, amen. The battle only got bloody because this is your time. I leave you with this and I prophesy it over your life. Isaiah chapter 60, verse 22, the smallest family will become one 
thousand people and the tiniest group will become a mighty nation at the right time i the lord will make it happen you are le- stepping into a full circle moment you are stepping into a homecoming season and you are stepping into the miracle of enlargement and multiplication in the name of of Jesus. I prophesy the fullness of Psalm 23, 5 and 6 over your life. It shall be so. It shall not be otherwise. Amen. Confirmations and clarity is coming within seven days in the name of Jesus. And within seven months, many of you will testify from your new location. Within seven months, many of you will testify from your new tax bracket. Within seven months, many of you will testify from that new relationship. Receive it, believe it, and get ready to glor- to glorify God as you testify to what he's getting ready to do. I give God glory. I give him all the honor and all the praise that he alone deserves. I thank you for being with me here for this brand new Miracles at Midnight. And I look forward to hearing your testimony, your praise report for what the Lord has said he will surely do. And I give all glory to Jesus. God bless you.